In this episode, we give you exclusive match highlights from Sussex Seconds' phenomenal 9-0 victory. And we also hear from head coach Aaron and player Molly Dawson. Only two changes to the lineup today, with Rosa coming into the back line and Lucia making a debut on the right wing. It's around 10 minutes into the game and Sussex have set up defensively strong, pushing a high line and forcing Kings to sit deeper. This affects Kings early on as they look to have no other option than to go long, which results with Sussex retaining possession. Already we can see our right back Bella making a wide angle for the keeper. However, Georgie probably makes the wrong decision by drop kicking it to Bella and putting it in a dangerous 2v1 situation. This doesn't appear a problem for Bella, however, as she drives through the pressure and starts an attack. Captain Olivia plays an impressive first and forward pass from Molly, who could have played it on for Daisy to have a goal scoring chance, but unfortunately, by the time she had looked up, Kings had recovered in numbers. Being more physical is one area that Sussex have been working on lately and Olivia demonstrates this well with her recovery run. Watch how she places her body between the ball and her opponent. Sussex will need to develop their ability to control the ball out of the air in the training as we like to play football on the ground. Molly should have tried to control this ball from the bounce, but unfortunately Kings don't deal with the pressure. Lucia then whips in a great cross for Daisy, but she doesn't stick out enough to poke it home. When opponents have goal kicks, Sussex have been coached to observe where they predict it will end up. Elsa, playing in the pivot role, takes a brilliant touch into space before attempting to switch the play again. Kings panic and clear their lines, but Bella's excellent cushion header into Elsa starts an attack down the left wing as Sussex continue to pile on the pressure. Notice how Elsa is automatically moved to cover Chloe at left back as she takes the ball down looking for an overlap. Sussex have been coached to always be prepared on how to prevent an attack if we do lose the ball. Take a look at the six Kings players bunched in one small area. In this situation, Sussex need to look to move backwards in order to switch to the side where there's a big amount of space. A deep corner whipped in by Lucia should have resulted in our second goal, but once again Sussex will need to strengthen on balls out of the air. Moments later, Sussex should have scored from another corner opportunity, but it was the same story of not putting their laces through the ball. Into the second half, and Sussex are looking to add to their 4-0 lead. The ladies have been using the wings extremely well today, and they nearly make it a fifth. There is clearly space out wide as Chloe finds Lucia again on the left, but takes a touch into trouble. Lucia should have considered taking the ball out wide to create space centrally. Katie, who has taken over the pivot role, takes a touch and instantly plays out wide again. As Chloe receives the pass, you can see she is looking for her forward options and has time to think. We see Lauren pointing for a forward pass, but Chloe should consider turning and waiting for more space to play a pass. Right idea though.
In this next phase of play, we see a great example of when Sussex identify a great chance to switch the ball. As Lauren picks the ball up in the middle, she instantly looks to find Chloe on the left. As Chloe drives forward, looking for a forward option, somehow the ref doesn't award a handball here. Next, we see Chloe Anderson start and finish the attack. As she brings the ball out of defence, unfortunate on her through ball, she makes up by keeping the ball in and playing it down the line. Chloe identifies early that she is in space to receive the ball and instantly looks for the one-two pass with Lucia to get in behind the defence. As the ball is cleared, Chloe judges the angle well and strikes the ball nearly lobbing the keeper. Contender for goal of the day coming up. Watch as Emily collects the ball. Zoe is already demanding for the ball to be played ahead. She takes a brilliant first touch and fires into the top corner. Emily performed great again today. Watch how she drops back to give Elsa an angle for the pass before attempting to play back to Elsa. As Rosa collects the ball, she waits for Lucia to make her run inside. Unfortunately, there's too much weight on this pass. Another attack down the left hand side as Elsa plays through to Lauren. A great cut back inside and suddenly Sussex have two players waiting in space. Olivia should probably have tried to either shoot quicker or move the ball on. One of my favourite moments of the match, Sussex are under pressure on the halfway line but they play their way out of trouble and let the ball do the work. Switching to the opposite side this leads to an attacking opportunity. A first time pass from Kira and Zoe is in front of goal but is unfortunate not to score. On the left hand side Olivia cuts inside to play a great ball into the centre and resulted in a good effort on goal from Kira. A corner is cleared and Katie already knows to play out wide into space. As the ball makes its way through everyone, Olivia is waiting at the back post but doesn't react quickly enough for the shot. Instead, she lays the ball back to Zoe and between the two of them, the ball is whipped into the far post, which Lucia can't finish. Another attack starting from the back, this time from Chloe Snell. A couple of quick touches on the ball and Kira is played in centrally as she nearly scores again. King scored seven goals in their previous match, but against Sussex they failed to record a single shot. It's easy to see why though with the strong defensive cover shown here by Chloe Snell. Elsa turns to protect the ball as Sussex made it look so easy to maintain possession throughout the whole game. What also helped Sussex in this game was her ability to find space. Kira receives the ball and plays a pass through to Lauren. After a fantastic spin off the defender, Lauren checks her options before she collects the ball and wins a throw in from this. Sussex retain possession again and play some beautiful quick football as they switch from right to left again.
In the 85th minute, Daisy rounds up the game with her fourth goal, chesting down before finishing into the bottom corner. Sussex now with three points clear to the top. Job done. To run through the scorers, Daisy surpassed her impressive hat-trick last week with four goals today. Georgia scored her third of the season, while Zoe, Lauren and Kira all opened up their scoring accounts after coming off the bench. Sussex moved three points clear at the top with a phenomenal goal difference of 15. Brunel also recorded their first win, setting up a cagey encounter when they come to the coast on the 1st of November. I thought we played uh, one of the best games I've ever seen since I've been at Sussex Uni. Um, the team just kept the ball, looked after it. We monitored on from last week, we advanced so well. We were playing it back, going back home a lot, as you'll see in the match highlights. And so we just came back home for safety, switched it across and got the ball back in. And to score nine goals today was just really, really good. Um, I think compared to last week, like although we won last week, um, this felt like much more of a victory. Like things we'd worked on in training, combination play, really we did really well with like uh, playing the ball back and then switching it and coming back in. And got, we got a couple of goals from that, so I think that went really well. Like our training worked well for the game today. So next time we've got Brunel, um, we're going to treat this as just like last like today. Uh, we're going to go for a title challenge and. We're just going to set up with training how we, what we remember from last season. Um, we did lose twice to them in the league, but we want to sort that out this year. We're much more confident, we're a much stronger team, uh, we're gelling really well. So next week when we have a, a week off, we're going to train a lot more on keeping the ball and just getting in behind quicker. So looking forward to that. Thanks for coming out to speak That's to us cool, today. Right?